Hello and welcome to the very first video in my art series. Um, I'm just going to mostly talk through this. What you're going to see on the screen here is art that I've done uh, either very recently or years and years and years ago. So I'm going to start by introducing myself. My name is Chastity Eels, as you can tell from the channel name. I am 20 years old. Currently, I work in food service, but someday I really hope to make it big in the art world, maybe, you know, be a good author. My dream job is to basically uh, be a graphic novelist. I, I also do just some, like, regular novels with, you know, no pictures in them, just regular old reading books. Uh, I also really like horses. I wouldn't mind becoming a professional equestrian. I, I just, I just, I really <laughs> would love to do jobs that uh, are kind of hard to make it big in and actually do steadily as a, uh, as a full-time job. Like, the equestrian world doesn't always pay well, neither does the art world, but a lot of us try. And that's kind of what I'm here for, for some of you. Uh, what I'm going to do with the channel is I'm going to start doing art-related stuff. I'm going to draw pictures for you, for your entertainment. I'm going to maybe teach you a thing or two. So, real quick, before we go any further, I'd like to make a note to any of my current subscribers as of January 2021. The first couple songs, or videos rather, on my channel were songs. Music. Um, I apologize if this takes you by surprise, if you thought you were subscribing to a, a budding musician. Um, I love music. Don't get me wrong. And I still plan on doing some music, but I think I'm going to switch to more of an art focus because, let's be honest, I'm, I'm better at art than I am at music. I, I believe I could be more consistent with art-related videos and actually, like, help people. I mean, I am so, like, I'm, I'm okay at music. I wouldn't say I'm bad, but... I'm not good enough that I'd be able to actually help people. All I could really do is make a song and show off now and then. And I believe my channel would be put to better use if I can actually help people with it. So I'm very sorry if you subscribe to my channel and you expected music and instead it's totally switching over to an art related thing. It won't totally switch over. I'll try and do songs now and then, if I can. I hope you really like the whole art thing, too. So, first I want to talk about uh, why I decided to start doing art videos. Um, a lot of people really like my art. let us I'm not trying to brag here, I'm, I'm just saying uh, it, it's a fact. A lot of people really like my art. Um, my boyfriend, whom I've been with since I was 17, really wants me to teach him how to draw. And I just, like, I didn't know how to teach him how to draw. Like, I didn't know where to start, you know, what to do. And, well, I actually decided earlier today that the best way to do it might actually be uh, YouTube videos. That way he can, uh, watch them and pause them and any anything else like that and and plus we we work different schedules we're out at different times I figured it'd be more convenient for him like if he wants an art lesson and I'm at work not just go oh well I guess I have to wait and then I get home at like 10 o'clock and you know I'm tired I, I don't feel like teaching so and also doing YouTube videos and posting them publicly will not just help him it'll help other people too who are trying to learn how to draw 
And I do want to make a quick, no quick, quick note, excuse me, about my boyfriend. Um, you'll hear me talk about him a lot. We do live together. Um, he's a very major part of my life, as boyfriends do tend to be. Um, technically speaking, he is disabled. Um, I have his permission to say this. Uh, the reason I figured I would go ahead and say this is because I wanted to put it out there and let you know because you know, I don't want to end up saying something that sounds like, oh, that's weird. Most people don't normally experience that or, or do that and it just be confusing. So yes, um, he, he has right-sided weakness. Um, he doesn't, he has some nerve damage in his right side. Uh, he has scoliosis. So for him, because he, he is dominant in his right hand, it's really hard for him to draw straight lines, perfect circles, stuff like that. Um, so just putting that out there so you know. In case I ever talk about him in the future and it kind of like something I say confuses you but yes that's that's I want to start doing art videos to teach people and I'm not just gonna teach you know I'm not just gonna blah 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 throughout all of these I might do some speed paints I might do some fun stuff uh, you know it's every anything's anything's open um, next I want to talk about some expectations for uh, the channel and expectations for myself and what I'm gonna do. Oh, we've already talked about art tutorials. Um, I, I a lot of what I know how to do is anime people and horses. I dabble a little bit in everything, but that is my specialty. I I know horses are really hard to draw, so if anyone here is wanting to learn how to draw horses and is having a particularly hard time. I have been drawing horses since I was 10 years old and for a long time it was the only thing I would draw because I was so obsessed with making my horses perfect. So if you want to learn how to draw horses you have absolutely come to the right place. Welcome. Um, I might do some speed paints. I might just like show off something that I've done recently, you know, just just for fun. So I thought about this earlier. Um, I'm not showing my face in this video, and if you look at any of my previous music videos that I've done, uh, you don't really see my face. You can see like a silhouette of my face, but I decided that later on I might do a face reveal, um, but not until I reach a thousand subscribers. That might be a little overly ambitious, but I figure that I'll just not show my face for a while, and if I get a thousand subscribers, then I'll take that as a, hello Chastity, we all care enough about you to want to see your face, can we see it? And if I don't reach a thousand subscribers, well then, I guess not enough people care enough to see my face. I don't know. It's just a thought. Even if I never go past 500 subscribers and everyone's like, please do a face reveal, then I might go ahead and do a face reveal just because. I don't know. It's not set in stone. Uh, one more thing about the expectations for this channel. Um, my videos are mostly for beginners. I would not call myself the best artist in the world. Like, if if I did that, that'd be like <laughs> lots of ego. Uh, there are definitely people out there who have more talent and more practice than I do, and I don't feel as though I'm suitable to say that. You know, everyone should learn from me. Now, that's not to say everyone can. Like, you can be so good at drawing people, like, I cannot draw realistic faces, but if you can draw realistic faces, but you want to try anime, but you don't know how, how to go about that, and you, you just, you want to come to my channel and see, well then welcome. 
I mean, there's there's no limit here. You can uh, you can absolutely not know how to draw a straight line. Welcome. You can uh, draw the most perfect sunset in the entire world and be the best artist in the universe and still watch me. Welcome. Everyone's welcome. But just to let you know. A lot of these videos are geared towards beginners, so please don't be disappointed if you find that you're, you know, watching all these videos and thinking, well, I already know that. Are, are you going to come up with something else? <laughs> so I have a couple of rules that I need everyone here to understand. Um, they're... They're not a big deal, so don't don't click away thinking that oh no, there's rules involved. What? <laughs> they're they're fun rules. They're good rules. They're really for your benefit more than anything. So rule number one: you do not have to do exactly as I do. Everyone has their own art style. I know I have found myself trying to imitate someone else. And I just end up doing kind of my own thing. You know, art is not something that you should try and copy. Like, line for line, color for color. It's good, if you're a beginner, to try your best to copy something. Because, I mean, it just helps you get a little better. I mean, if you'd rather do something other than what I'm doing, though, don't think that just because I'm doing something that you have to do the exact thing I'm doing. If you're following along with me and you decide, well, she's doing an orange sky, but I want my morning time sky to be pink, then do it. It's not like I'm going to jump through the computer and go, oh, no, you did something wrong. I, I, it is totally okay. Rule number two, erasing and fixing mistakes doesn't make you bad. If anything, it makes you that much better. It is good to admit that you made a mistake and to turn around and fix it and make it better. Honestly, that could apply to uh, <laughs> life and art, really, but... As far as art goes, if you if you screw up a line or something, don't think to yourself, Bah! I suck! I shouldn't be doing art. Unsubscribe! You know? <laughs> no. You can unsubscribe if you want. I don't mind. We, we all have freedom here. But... <laughs> just, just know that... No one should ever judge you for erasing a, or fixing... A mistake you should you should be able to admit that you made a mistake and make it better if you need to so that your art can be the best you can make it because that's what we're trying to do is get better and do the best that we can final rule is you don't need to use the same products as me okay I mean if I'm doing a painting, and you think to yourself, I'd rather do that as a drawing, like with graphite pencil, then that's fine. I, I don't mind. Also, as far as um, expenses go, some of the products I use are very... Uh, like my favorite, my favorite colored pencils are Prismacolor. Prismacolor gets crazy expensive, okay? I personally think they're worth it. There might be some people out there who, whether it's actually worth it or not, they just can't afford that mess. <laughs> so they just gotta get, like, Crayola or something. I ain't judging you, okay? No one's gonna judge you here. You don't need to spend, like, $100 on art products if you can't afford it. Likewise, um, there are some products I have that are really cheap and chintzy and I just don't care to get the most expensive, amazing version of that product because I don't use it enough. Okay, you don't need to think to yourself, 
Well, dang, I spent too much money on this thing. All she uses is is off-brand two dollar. It's it's fine. If you want to use thousand dollar art equipment while I'm using maybe hundred dollars worth of art equipment, that's okay. If you can really only afford ten dollars worth of art equipment, that's fine too. Okay. The amount you spend on art supplies does not reflect how good of an artist you are. There may be some quality differences in different products, but it's it's not a huge deal. Like the acrylic paints I use, I use the cheapest ones that I can find because I like having a bigger variety of colors. You may decide to pick the more expensive kind and just mix the colors based on what little you have. Whatever works for you. This is a no pressure type of setting. We're all free spirits here. We can draw what we want. We can draw how we want with what supplies we want. And you don't have to do it exactly like me. Okay, so I think I'm going to end that there. Uh, I hope this wasn't too long and unbearable for you. Hopefully, uh, looking at the art I've made has kept this video from being too boring. I'm going to try and upload my first, you know, real educational and actually entertaining video soon. Liking any of my videos and subscribing to my channel would be greatly appreciated and I'm gonna be honest here, you know, if you can send me some support, you know, give me your money. <laughs> oh my gosh, there has to be a more subtle way of me saying that, but I mean, if you can, if you're able, that would be greatly appreciated because the more money I can make off of this channel, the more time I will put into it trying to make sure that the videos are the best quality possible. I'm going to try and get you guys a way to do that soon, you know, if you want and if you're able. No pressure. And I will see you really soon in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Goodbye!